Hi everyone and welcome along to a spatial tutorial. In this segment we'll be taking a look at clock wheel rotation. Sam Broadcaster is a bit like a hands-free DJ, but to fully automate it you have to tell it what to do first. That's where the clock wheel comes in. The clock wheel controls what tracks are played and how often, so you could be in bed and while you're sleeping your radio station will carry on playing songs, interviews, news and station IDs and Sam Broadcaster won't play anything more than once unless you want it to. Before we begin, make sure you've set up your music categories. Now we need to make some rules for the playlist, so to do this, I'll click here on the config button on the toolbar, then go to playlist rotation rules in this pop-up window. As you can see in this section, you can make sure songs don't repeat in a number of ways. So for example, if you don't want the same song to play more than once within an hour, enter 60 minutes next to do not play same title within right here. I can tweak this further and say that I don't even want the same title to play within 600 minutes. I can even make sure that the same artist or album aren't played more than once in 24 hours. To do this I have to enter the number of minutes that are in 24 hours, which is 1440. You can set it to more hours, just make sure you have that many hours of music in your Sun Broadcaster playlists. By default no songs are kept in the queue. This can be changed by going to this option here and setting the number of songs you would like to keep in the queue. I'll bring this up to 5 in case a listener sends in a request. I'm going to leave the Use Ghost Queue and Cache Queue Count options checked to make it easier for some broadcaster to set up a new queue when my 5 tracks run out. For the playlist logic module here, I'm going to keep some broadcaster's default setting of Category Rotation because it's the easiest to manage, especially if you're a beginner. The other options here are Weighted Playlist Rotation Logic Module, which will play your most popular requests more often, and Web Scripting Based Logic Module, which will play your tracks based on specific web programming. For the sake of this video and to help beginners, I'll stick with the default setting. Now I'm going to click Config to format the clock wheel. First I'll click on Clear to erase the default settings in this box. Now let's click on the plus category button here to open up the category selector window. I'm going to select tracks on the left, then on the right, I'm going to select least recently played song to always keep things fresh and original. Then I'll click OK. Now let's add a line for station IDs. Click again on the plus category button and return to the category selector. For my station IDs, I'm going to locate the category that I put them in here on the left. I'm also going to uncheck enforce playlist rotation rules so that they will always play regardless of the rules we configured on the previous window. I'll choose random so that the station IDs will be chosen on a random basis. Let's click OK to add it to the list. Now I'm going to set up the rest of my audio categories. Each line in this window will be used by Sam when you run your station hands free. Starting at the top, it will play one track from each category and then move to the next line. When a track from each category has been played, Sam will start again at the beginning. This is why it's called a clock wheel. To finish, I'll click OK here and here, and my category rotation rules are complete. The next step is scheduling your music, so don't miss our video on that. I'm James Allen, and I'll see you all in the next spatial tutorial.